All right, folks, funny enough, I just recorded this video and I wasn't wearing headphones and the video is too quiet. So now here's round two, uh, 11, 15 p.m. All right, lit. So you're watching this in video because I'm giving you the instructions this way rather than doing it live in class. Everybody can repeat the instructions as many times as they need. Um, this assessment is going to be broken into two parts, two different parts. One part is going to be like kind of off the Google Slides. One of them is going to be back on the Google Slides. Let's talk about the part that's going to be off the Google Slides. We're going to look at this GIF. This GIF is titled the Pulsing Glow Stick Reaction. You can kind of see, ooh, maybe that makes sense why it's called the Pulsing Glow Stick Reaction. Watch it a couple times. Definitely think about it, wonder about it. After you think, thought, and wondered about it, then you're going to go back to your Google Classroom. There's another assignment from today called the 1.3 Final Assessment, Learning 1.3 Final Assessment. You're opening that. This graphic organizer needs to be filled out in complete sentences. It's got to use the vocab that I've listed right here. Let's look at that graphic organizer. So you've got lots of red boxes. If you see a red box, that's where you got to put words. Red box, put in words. So number one, a couple sentences, complete sentences, describe the phenomena. You see a phenomena right here, you're describing it. What do you see? Use your chemistry vocab, describe what you see. Then in terms of you know excited state, ground state, photons, electrons, energy levels, describe this phenomena when it's stable. What is the cycle you see? When is it unstable? How does it cycle back around? What is this circular sort of motion that goes through? What is it? When is it stable? Well, how does it turn unstable? How does it turn back stable? Then at the bottom, how does this cycle explain what you see happening in the phenomenon? Up top, you described it. In the middle, you sort of talked about the chemistry of how it works. And then number five, you're putting it all together. Put it all together. If you're wondering like, oh, Murray, this is kind of confusing. How does this work? Then good news for you. I put an example. Um, so at the top, I'm describing the phenomena of when you drink water, you get hydrated, but when you get hydrated, you reach the unstable state of like needing to urinate, to needing to pee. So in the stable state, your body is not having an incredible urge to pee. You can call it stable, right? You're like chilling in your room, you're like, mm, I don't need to pee. I'm not that hydrated. But if you drink water, which is how you get from the stable to the unstable state, then the urge to pee is strong and it's like unstable. You can't just be like sitting there and chilling. You're like, mm, no, I got to get up. I got to go pee. So when you urinate, then you go back to the stable state. So you're stable here. You do something to the stable state, makes it unstable. And then the unstable state does something to get back to the stable state. But that cycle can just go around and around and around. I didn't include step five here like I did on the other one because I want you guys to be able to piece that together. And by you guys, uh, I mean you folks to be a little bit gender inclusive of my language. Um, so that's our first part of the assessment. That should take out the majority of the time for the assessment. That is probably gonna be the long part of the assessment. The short part of the assessment is we're looking at these things called glowing quantum dots. These are actually, this is actually a picture I took um, when I was in college. I made these, they're really cool, they're really fun. Um, you can make them in any kind of color you could ever imagine. Um, pay attention to the numbers on the vials that I labeled here, one, two, and three. Those are important for the first question that's on this slide right here. So we're ranking the numbered vials. When I'm talking about the numbered vials, I mean these vials up here. The number two, number two doesn't need the picture from the previous slide at all. You can just look at this picture over here. Describe what is wrong with the diagram that you see. You've got to use a lot of sentences. I'm thinking like probably around four or five to fully explain this from somebody who's explaining this really well. And you got to use these vocab words that we know what they mean, right? We've been practicing them all day. Um, this part is more about what we learned today. This part is more about what we learned yesterday and sort of like describing it here, like what we learned yesterday. Um, although, you know, we reviewed everything today. So I'm going to give you a hint, folks. If you're stuck and you're like, mm, I don't really know what the answer to this is like, uh, where could I find something that's helpful? Go back into the slides, go back up. When you go back up, you're going to see a whole bunch of information that's so helpful for you. Like all this information is so helpful for you. And this is open note. So if you get stuck, go back to the notes. They're on the slide above you. Um, good luck. This is Murray, way too late, recording this for the second time. I pray that you don't hear the random street noise outside and it's too loud, but hey, if you do, listen to it again, turn on the captions, who knows? We'll try our best. Uh, peace out, folks.